working in the spirit of the Golden Empire. This is 17 News at Sunrise. Good morning. Thank you so much for joining us this morning for the special edition of 17 News at Sunrise. Live from Holiday Lights at Calm, I'm Maddie Jansen alongside Alex Fisher, Kevin Shrett, and Tabitha Mills. We've got the whole crew out here this morning. We do, and you know, this is a very special year because 17 News at Sunrise is broadcasting here at Calm, of course. We do our annual show this year, though. It is the 17th year out at Calm. That's why uh, Josh Barnett, who, of course, is in charge of putting up all these lights, uh, made this special sign for us this year. So beautiful. He is so incredibly talented. I don't you know, know what he can't do. I, I think that's the question. I mean, we really need to find out what he can't do because, I mean, it seems like he can do just absolutely everything. We have got a jam-packed show for you this morning with a lot of holiday festivities, but first we're going to talk about your forecast. Kev, i got to say, you did great in the weather department today. It's not bad out here. Uh, you know, there's a little chill and the fog is not a problem. Uh, visibility was great driving out here. We all kind of came out together this morning, and I'm not looking uh, for fog to be a major issue this morning. Visibility is good so far. Nine miles for Bakersfield. We have a temperature of 50 degrees, uh, no winds to talk about at this time. And as we uh, take a look at the overall visibility map, and you can see where the fog is along the coast, and also areas to the north, really not that bad this morning until you reach Merced, and right now visibility down to a mile. Here's a look at our outdoor forecast for today. Temperatures will rise into the mid-60s under sunny skies. For Tehachapi, 45 degrees right now. You have a northwest wind at 12. Visibility good at 10 miles as well. And as we take a look at the day, temperatures will rise into the upper 50s. So a nice and comfortable day ahead. But again, there is a chance of rain in our forecast as we head into tomorrow. It'll be light, but we're going to talk much more about that. We're going to show you all the areas of calm as well. Mm -hmm. All right. Thanks so much, Kev. Yep. Well, as you may know, uh, by now, that uh, Strata Credit Union is granting 70 wishes this year to celebrate its 70th anniversary. And now we're down to the final wish. Tabitha Mills is joining us this morning with the story of that final wish and how they're wrapping up this year-long campaign. That's right, a little Christmas cheer, if you will, to start us off here at uh, Calm Holiday Lights. And this year, Strata Credit Union partnered with KGET to help provide a Christmas tree in our annual Christmas tree giveaway for a family in need this holiday season. To make their holiday a little more merry and bright. Take a look. Santa's sleigh looks a little different this year. His elves a little taller. But the joy is all the same. For its final wish, Strata Credit Union joined with KGET Channel 17 to make the holidays a little more merry and bright for three families in our community. The first, the Woods family. Lenise Woods and her four boys were homeless. The Bakersfield Homeless Center helped find the family housing. And Strata Credit Union made sure to make their new house feel like a home this Christmas. They told me that a, a family adopted us and then that they would just give us gifts. But I wasn't expecting like the trees and the decorations and well, all these gifts. <laughs> This is a big blessing. What a wonderful thing to experience and to see and know that we have brought happiness to a family that was experiencing a little trouble. And we helped make things a little lighter this holiday season. Excited. My kids are like beyond excited. You see them clapping? <laughs> um, my kids are beyond excited. Like, it's a big blessing. We got our house. I think that's made Christmas for all of us. Yeah. <laughs> Hi. Yeah, you got presents? Yeah. Tree? <gasps> Yay! Huh. Really excited, like I'm happy that we got presents and we got a house, and I'm grateful that they help us and I want to say thank you for helping us and all the people that you help. So Strata Credit Union is going to partner with KGET to make the holidays a little more merry and bright for two more families in our community and we will bring those stories to you leading up to Christmas on 17 News at Sunrise.
Some great stories there. So Always beautiful. Neat. It really I love seeing the excitement in those kids' faces. Oh my goodness, they were, they were so excited. All yeah, over the I love it. It was great. Santa and his elves did a good job. They sure did. Mm -hmm. Oh, right. wonderful. Look thanks forward so much, to uh, some more giveaways too. Yeah. 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 All right. Thanks, Tabs. Well, you know, it is the most wonderful time of year, but as you may know, it is also the most busy time of year because during this time of season, of course, everyone's trying to get their packages to all of their loved ones for this holiday season. And while you're checking off your seasonal to-do list, just be aware of some deadlines uh, that you need to know about to make sure that you get your packages and mail delivered to your families and friends by Christmas. So in order for Santa to get all of those presents under the tree, there are some deadlines you need to know. Get your packages to the post office by tomorrow if you want the standard ground delivery. UPS Ground will need your packages today. And uh, FedEx is going to give you just a little bit more time. You have until December 16th for standard ground service. So again, that is Monday, December 16th. So a little bit of extra time, but again, don't procrastinate. We've got time uh, that's ticking. I, yeah, that kind of <laughs> made me nervous, that story right there. I better get to work. <laughs> well, it is the season of giving, and our 17 Days of Christmas toy drive is underway. Just a few days left to help fill our lobby with those gifts and toys that will go to the kids and teens at the Bakersfield Homeless Center and the Boys and Girls Club. Yeah, absolutely. And again, we've got our 17 days of uh, Christmas toy drive and it's wrapping up on Tuesday. So you have now until Tuesday to drop off your toys. We're looking for unwrapped toys. And again, you can drop them off at our studios at 2120 L Street or the Bakersfield Homeless Center on East Truxton Avenue or the Boys and Girls Club uh, Clubs on Nile Street. Again, that until Tuesday, and like Maddie said, don't forget about the teens. Absolutely. All right, well, we are talking about all of the holiday and Christmas festivities around Kern County this morning, getting into the Christmas spirit. So here is one opportunity to take your family out and have a little holiday fun. The Christmas Wonderland. Merry Christmas Wonderland is a walk through Christmas experience fit for the whole family. And when you go, you'll walk from room to room. It will show you all things Christmas. About 20,000 square feet of fun in the walk where you can play games and have a jolly old time. Also outdoor activities like a hayride, a petting zoo, and food trucks. It's a weekly event, so plenty of chances to go, including this Sunday. After that, you can go December 22nd and December 29th. The event lasts from 3 to 7, and you can buy tickets at the Christmas Wonderland website. Okay, we talked about how close we are to Christmas. You ready for this, Maddie? 12 days. I can't even believe it. We are 12 it. days away from Christmas, and uh, if you're looking for something festive to do, of course, you can come out here at Calm. But we've also got uh, a really special something at the Kern County Museum. That's right. That is also where you can find Christmas Town. So, as we said, there are holiday festivities all over this county. So, visit them all, take all of your family. Christmas Towns at the Kern County Museum, as Alex said, inside Pioneer Village. There is a 40 foot tall Christmas tree, ice skating rink, a sledding hill. Take pictures with Santa while you're there. General admission is $20. Kids to and under are free. Christmas Town is open every day at 5 30 p.m., but it's closed Christmas Eve and Christmas, and you can visit Christmas Town until December 31st. Hey, and by the way, speaking of which, uh, we want to give someone some tickets uh, to Christmas Town. All right, what a great idea. Yeah, I think that's a great idea. So, <laughs> again, we're looking for uh, caller 17, uh, and all you have to do is just call 283-1771, 283-1771, and again, we're looking for caller 17, and uh, good luck. Again, Christmas Town, make sure Christmas Town giveaway to Lucky Caller 17. All right, and again, the reason we're all here this morning, the 17th year of holiday lights here at Calm, and if you're looking forward to coming out and visiting the lights, yeah, there's a lot of new displays this year. We're going to talk about how you can come out here to Holiday uh, Lights at Calm and the new things that you can expect this year. The holidays are here and so is Toyotathon. Wrap up a great year-end deal with employee pricing on all remaining 2019 Toyota models. Lease a brand new Corolla for only $199 a month or a brand new Camry for only $279 a month. The season of giving continues with a no-cost complimentary maintenance plan for two years, 25,000 miles, and 24-hour roadside assistance. If you're going to wish, then wish big. Toyotathon is on. Merry Christmas from all of us at North Bakersfield Toyota, Freeway 99 and 7 Standard. 
This Friday, Saturday, and Sunday at More Furniture for Less. Join us for a very special limited time event. Get 72 months, no interest financing. That's six years with no interest on holiday sale priced furniture store-wide. Treat your home to new styles just in time for holiday entertaining. Our holiday sale is on now with no interest financing for 72 months. That's six full years. Don't wait. It's this weekend only at More Furniture for Less. And online at morefurniture.com. I would recommend Apple and your dental to anybody that's wanting dental services. They're always professional, they're always friendly, they always do quality work. After Apple and your dental, my, my confidence has been boosted up because I have a better, a better smile, straighter teeth. If it wasn't for Apple and your dental, I, I'd probably still be struggling with my dental issues. Hello, I'm Dr. Marvizi and we are looking forward to seeing you at Apple and your dental. Attention homeowners and contractors. Stop driving to Los Angeles for quartz, granite, or cabinetry. Shop Factory Direct right here in Bakersfield and save thousands at J Home Improvements. Like these granite prefab countertops starting at $99 or these 10-foot quartz big slabs starting at $1076 per square foot. Need kitchen cabinets? Buy now and get free installation. Buy Factory Direct today and save thousands. Visit J Home Improvement, 3209 Lanco Drive. This portion of 17 News is brought to you by The Point at Summit Hills, a quality assisted living and memory care community. Call today to schedule a visit to our community. The spirit of giving, the thrill of saving, the magic of the season. Experience the outlets at Tahone for the holidays and create unforgettable memories. It's a shopping destination unlike any other, with something for everyone on your gift list and fun for the whole family. Save up to 65% on more than 60 of the top brands in fashion, accessories, and home goods. It's all waiting for you at the outlets at Tahone, your must-shop stop for the holidays. I-5 and Highway 99, just south of Bakersfield. To our Christmas Spectacular, live from Calm. Again, the 17th year here at Calm for Holiday Lights, and uh, it's a very special year, of course. It here certainly for us. is. Where else will we be on the 17th <laughs> year than in front of our brand new 17th sign from Josh with Light Tasmic? So exciting. There's great weather today if you're going to head out here and uh, check out all of the holiday lights. But first, let's check out where to find Kevin. Where is he today? Roaming the grounds here at Call. Oh, Cole. there, there you are, Kev. And I got to tell you, this is a really neat display that you're about to show us because uh, it's just kind of neat to see, even look at the ground. Yeah, things have changed a little bit out here. Holiday lights are calm, and some of the displays have moved from one area to the next. So it gives you that illusion, uh, and there's always something new. At least when I come out every year, there's always something I hadn't seen the previous year, and I'm sure folks who come out see the same thing. Atlanta Fane joins me right now, and uh, pretty exciting year for you guys. 17 oh, yes. years you guys 17 have had this years. going on. Yes. Uh, what can people expect this year? Well, we do have some new things uh one of the things that everybody really enjoys is the new bri the bridge with the uh the tree the the light tree over the tunnel the mm -hmm. that's really really great uh, we have some new animals down on the nature trail um the thing is there's subtle things that you wouldn't say oh that's a big new thing one of the things that i was really intrigued when they were putting it down and laying it down was the little uh lake and the pond back where the zebra is back there it was like what is that what are they doing i don't get it because we didn't know exactly what was going to be there and then once you saw it it's like yes it's almost like a three-dimensional scene and it really adds to you know the the whole scene of the 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 congo area so very excited and very proud of this event. And Josh always comes up with so many great creative scenes here at Calm. He wants to make things a little different every year. He certainly does. You know, he and he and Vicky, you know, what a team they are. And they come up with so many great ideas. You know, it's just like when we were going to get the California Coast Room. That whole Calm Cove kind of was born out of us getting the California Coast Room, almost like saying, okay, this is next. We're going to get jellies out here and all that. And, and that's how that comes up. You know, there's some discussion about what we'd like to see or whatever. And then Josh will put it on paper and bring it in. And, and then, then it's discussed and then it's created. And it's just an amazing event, not only for us locally here, but what I want to get across to our, our community is that 
tourists are coming here from really all over because this is such an incredible event and it's something that we should be so very proud of. Well, we're hoping uh, that you guys uh, win uh, that big award that everybody's been voting on. We won't know until later on today, but uh, I'm from the Pacific Northwest. I've been to these uh, light displays and I'll tell you, Calm is uh, top notch and uh, number one in my book. I've never seen anything like it. So come on out. We're going to have a lot more throughout the morning, but we also want to talk about our weather forecast. It'll be a great night to come out and enjoy holiday lights of calm under sunny skies today and clear skies for tonight before we see a little bit of a change for tomorrow. 50 degrees right now overnight so far, 50. Uh, so we're above where we should be uh, this time of year. We should be right around 39. We're running into the 40s, lower 50s right now in the valley with 40s into the mountains. And as we take a look at the skies, we are clear. And sunny skies expected for us today before we see change. Visibility is good. We've got some fog to the north and west, but that is about it. Merced down to a mile visibility. We've got rain moving into the north right now. That will all start to shift more south as this ridge kind of breaks down. So the chance of showers comes into play as we head into our Saturday, lingering into our early Sunday. Right now, looking between five hundredths and a tenth of an inch of rain. We'll talk much more about your forecast. That's coming up in just a little bit. But I'm going to go explore a little bit more around the grounds here at Holiday Lights at Calm. We'll send it back to you guys for now. Yeah, there's so much to see this year, uh, a lot of different Yeah, this things. is the first time I've been out so far this season, so I'm having so much fun checking out all this of the new stuff. Brand new place. All right, so we're cool. going to uh, take a break, and then we'll look at your top headlines for today coming up after this. The ultimate Christmas sale is on, and so are the savings at all earners Z's Please Sleep Centers, Kern County's number one mattress dealer. And what better way to say Merry Christmas than the ultimate sleep system from Tempur-Pedic, the most highly recommended bed in America, or the Sealy Queen mattress just $2.99. And now through Christmas, get up to 60 months special financing and free same-day delivery. So if a good night's sleep and saving money are important, don't miss the ultimate Christmas sale at all earners Z's Please Sleep Centers. Your vehicle is part of your family, and your family deserves the best. From scratch repairs and detailing to full body restoration and paint, come see why more Bakersfield auto dealers trust Color Coat Restoration Inc. Is your insurance deductible causing a financial burden? Well, then ask about our no deductible payment for 90 days. That's right, no deductible payment for 90 days. Color Coat Restoration Inc., Bakersfield's premier auto body and paint destination. Working in the spirit of the Golden Empire, you're watching 17 News at Sunrise. This holiday season, find sanctuary and sanity in the 2020 Lincoln Aviator. Available at Jim Burke Lincoln. Holiday Lights at Calm. Kern's 3 million light extravaganza is back for its 17th year to delight kids and adults alike. See new displays along with your favorites every night from 5.30 to 8.30 p.m. Purchase tickets at any Kern School's Federal Credit Union branch or at the Holiday Lights gate. Holiday Lights was again voted Bakersfield's best annual event and named one of the top light shows in the western states. To see Holiday Lights, take Alfred Harrell Highway in northeast Bakersfield between Hart Park and Lake Ming and look for the lights in the sky. This December, Jim Burke Lincoln hits the town with Guitar Masters and the Kern County Cancer Fund by making a cash donation for each vehicle sold. Bring joy to the world with Jim Burke Lincoln. Welcome back. We're having a lot of holiday fun out here at Calm, but 17th Atal Wallace is standing by with your news of the day. Let's turn things over to him right now in the 17 News Center. Good morning, Aton. Good morning, Maddie and Alex. Man, what a beautiful set out there, beautiful lights. We'll check back in with you in just a few minutes. But for now, we'll get to the top news of the day. A truck drove into a power pole overnight in Oildale. It happened just after midnight. CHP and PG&E responded to the scene where the truck that drove into a power pole and then a tree, you see it here on Bristol Avenue. The power pole was left hanging, supported only by wires. Unfortunately, when he struck the uh, uh, power pole, he, uh, he damaged the pole to the point where they had to cut power to the area. The uh, roadway, pg and is on scene right now. The roadway uh, for about a block of Day Avenue will be closed most of Friday. 
uh, most of today through the, this afternoon, Friday afternoon, Friday evening for the repairs to that power pole. And no one was hurt in that crash. CHP says it does not look like drugs or alcohol were involved in the accident. Now up to a thousand homes are affected by the outage. No word yet on when power will come back in the area. Now it's been a violent few days in Bakersfield. Early yesterday the sheriff's d department swarmed a Motel 6 after three people were shot there. Now the shooting happened around 7 a.m. at the Motel 6 on East Brundage Lane. You see a map here. KCSO says they found a victim at the motel and took him to the hospital. But later they discovered two other men were also wounded and drove themselves to the hospital. One man died. Now, KCSO says it's not clear if the shooting happened inside a motel room or somewhere else on the property, and KCSO has not reported any arrests in this case. We will keep you updated when we find out more on this shooting, and if you have any information, you're asked to call KCSO at 861-3110 or remain anonymous by calling the secret witness hotline at 322-4040. Now, tomorrow, the family of a man killed in a motorcycle accident will hold a fundraising car wash in Lamont. Now, family and friends gathered to remember the 25-year-old. His name is Jose Garcia. Garcia died following a collision with the mail truck on Ming Avenue. Bakersfield police say Garcia smashed into the back of the mail truck. The impact powerful enough to overturn the truck. He was killed, but the truck driver was not hurt. BPD says the rider's speed could have been an issue, but it's unclear if drugs or alcohol also played a role. Now, you'll be able to find uh, them on Main Street and Alcante Avenue right across from the McDonald's there. This weekend will be a festive salute to honor men and women who served this country. Nearly Boys, do you have three? You have three. The two. oldest one is... Weekends wreaths across America earlier this week, and that was just the first round. The local chapter of the Civil Air Patrol has a goal to lay a wreath on every headstone at the cemetery, and they were able to get enough wreaths thanks to your donations. The group now needs volunteers. Well, everyone's welcome to come out. Um, it is an open, public, free ceremony. on Saturday. It starts at 9 a.m. For more information, just go to our website, kget.com. And that's a look at some of your top stories making news on this Friday. For now, let's send it back to Maddie, Alex, and the entire Sunrise team live at com. And man, oh man, Maddie and Alex, such a beautiful light show out there. And man, that set, just so beautiful. How's it going out there? How do you like this? Isn't that so How do you like cool? this, Aton? Well Oh, I love that. that looks we'll have to get Aton out here to check out all of these lights. Yeah, that certainly. <laughs> it looks, looks great. I hope everything's going well out there. You're doing a great job. It, it is. Thanks so much, Aton. All right, well, it is the spirit of giving back. And if you're looking for a way to do that, we'll have some opportunities for you coming up. Yeah, join us more with more after this. Disappeared. He was the devil. Collecting women, that's his favorite thing. Is it possible she is alive? The team determined to bring her home. Dateline tonight, 9, 8 central. Imagine you have a direct line to your doctor. At Mint Health Clinics, you can text, call, video chat, or, of course, visit your doctor in person. You have access as often as you need. No long waits or rushed appointments. No co-pays. No hassles. This is healthcare that works for you. Mint Health Clinics. Make the switch to better health care today. MintBakersfield.com I had bought a new home and my garage was unfinished. I had an unfinished garage for two years because I honestly hadn't even thought about finishing it. They finished plastering it, they added baseboards, they painted my ceiling and my walls as well as my doors. I did the one day garage floors. The color matches my house perfectly. It feels like another room. I can mop my garage floor. I love it. I just love it. There was no other competition. Why not call the best? Work 
virtual reality is now in Bakersfield. Simulated is your portal to the world of virtual reality gaming. Schedule a fun team bonding session with your company. Birthday party packages are also available. The future of VR entertainment is here today at Simulated. Did you know that Mazda has been named the best car brand by U.S. News & World Report? Right now, purchase any new 2019 or 2020 Mazda and get 0.9% financing for 60 months and no payments for 90 days. That means zero, zilch, nada for 90 days. That can sure come in handy for the holidays. Come join the happy family of Mazda owners today and get 0.9% financing for 60 months and zero payments for 90 days. Visit Bakersfield Mazda in the Auto Mall. Welcome back. It is 525. Great to have you with us on this Friday morning. You're for our special edition of 17 News at Sunrise at Holiday Lights at Calm. It's the holiday season, and of course, everyone's in the spirit of giving back. Yeah, and there's so many uh, opportunities for you to give back, especially here in Kern County during this, uh, this holiday season. Joining us now is Brenda Ratliff here at the Volunteer Center to talk about how you can give back during this holiday season. Good morning. Thanks for joining morning, us. Good morning. Merry Christmas. Merry Thanks Christmas. for coming out so early. Merry Christmas. So there's a lot of opportunities mm -hmm. uh, for, for people to get involved during this holiday season. You know there are, and there's so many families that like to get involved. One mm -hmm. of the things I'd like to remind everybody, is the volunteering isn't seasonal, though. Yeah. These mm -hmm. agencies need them all year long, but this is a, a good chance to get introduced to an agency and continue it in 2020. All right. Well, of course, let's first talk about where we are. Holiday Lights at Calm, they always need volunteers. You know what they do, and it's such a, a great opportunity. Opportunity. If you come out and volunteer a shift, they give you a ticket to come back as a guest. They especially need help with parking this year and also with assisting guests. So a great opportunity. What a, what a great place to volunteer your time. You know, remember Calm is a, is a nonprofit and it's an educational thing here in our community that we want to keep here. So it's important to support it. And it's very festive out here too. So. Uh, also, we've got uh, Christmas for seniors. Absolutely. They're uh, starting their deliveries to their seniors. Uh, it's a great opportunity to, to get involved, be able to help pack those ba baskets for seniors who are so deserving and just need that little extra at Christmas and, and that extra attention. And then Christmas on Union, this is such a neat event. You know what it is, uh, this organization goes out on Union Avenue and uh, basically uh, blesses the kids that live on Union Avenue in the motels and some of those trailer parks and stuff. So they get an opportunity to interact with the kids, give them something that they otherwise wouldn't have. Okay, Brenda, you talked about volunteering, and you talked about how it's important to uh, uh, volunteer throughout the year. Uh, you've also got a cinnamon roll drive coming up. This is our sixth annual cinnamon roll drive uh, next Thursday on December the 19th at our office at 1311 I Street. Another volunteer opportunity because we need help out there as well. Absolutely. People can drive through our parking lot, pick up that dozen of... Uh, Rolls and for ten dollars and support volunteer efforts all over the the uh, county. Okay, and then the Jamison uh, Children's Center is looking for donations. They are, you know, they have a wish list for the the kids that are with through Jamison. Uh, it not so much as a, as an opportunity to go in and work, but they certainly have a wish list. If you call them or check on the on your website, they'll they'll be able to uh, get some information. Okay, and then finally this morning, the Salvation Army needs those kettlebell ringers. You know what they are. I had a call this week from uh, the group in Tehachapi, which, Maddie, you would certainly uh, be aware of. That'd be perfect. And, uh, you know, they need bell ringers up there, so by all means, a chance to support our local organization. So if anyone wants information on any of these opportunities, can they just call the Volunteer Center for more information? Sure they can at 395-9787, and we'll be happy to help them out and get them going. That's Great. wonderful. Thank you for what you do, Brenda. Oh, thank you. Thanks for coming out. All right, now we're speaking of holiday lights at Calm. Does it have the best light show in the country? We certainly think it's up there. Uh, I mean, come on. I mean, look around and it, it, it's hard to beat. But uh, we will find out what the nation says later this morning. Uh, USA Today had a poll and they asked you, uh, people around the country, to vote for their favorite light show. And, of course, we will find out later this morning on the results. So yes, kind of right around 9 this morning, they're going to have the top 10 list voted on by USA Today uh, readers and voters. I, I, I'm sure we'll hopefully score oh, high. They've I mean, got to come be on, in there. Gotta be Absolutely. Yeah. All right, we'll still ahead in our next half hour here on Sunrise. What exactly does it take to make this magical display happen? Yeah, as you can imagine, it's a lot of time and imagination. We'll get more into it coming up after the break. If you see wires down, treat them all as if they're hot and energized. Stay away from any down wire. 
call 911 and call PG&E right after so we can both respond out and keep the public safe. The Big Finish Sales Event is in full swing at Head Ed Dodge Ram, and you can save big with Employee Pricing Plus. Purchase a new Dodge Challenger GT starting as low as $23,535. That's up to $8,800 in total savings off MSRP. Or purchase a 2019 Ram 1500 Limited Crew Cab 4x4 and take up to $15,058 in total savings off MSRP with our Employee Pricing Plus. Or take advantage of 0% financing for up to 60 months on select Ram trucks in stock. Choose from over 300 new cars and trucks at Head Ed Dodge Ram. The ultimate Christmas sale is on, and so are the savings at Earners Appliance Center, Kern County's number one appliance dealer. And what better way to celebrate with family and friends than new energy-saving appliances by KitchenAid and Whirlpool. Like this Whirlpool refrigerator, only $13.99, or this KitchenAid dishwasher, just $5.99, plus up to 18 months special financing. So if the lowest price and same-day delivery are for you, come to the ultimate Christmas sale at Earners. Welcome to Far Medical Group, a family medicine group where we are focused on creating long-term relationships with patients and their families while also providing quality, compassionate care. We take pride in listening to your questions and encourage our patients to have an open dialogue about their health. We provide routine wellness exams, disease prevention, and treatment. It's our goal to listen to you, earn your trust, and exceed your expectations. The best medical group by far and far from ordinary. If you can smell gas, you're too close. Leave the structure immediately. Call 911, keep people away, and then call PG&E at 1-800-743-5000. Learn more at pge.com slash safety. Working in the spirit of the Golden Empire, this is 17 News at Sunrise. Good morning, 531. Great to have you with us for our special newscast out here live at Holiday Lights at Calm. It's finally Friday. It's also Friday the 13th of December. I know. <laughs> well, <laughs> well then. Odd. The um, weather's not spooky or anything no, like that, that's though. that's the good news. I mean, seriously, Kev, the weather really could not be perfect, especially this week. Well, at least today. Yeah, today's going to be yeah. perfect. Uh, if you want to come out and enjoy Holiday Lights at Calm, tonight is looking perfect. Very little fog out there. It's patchy, uh, but we're not looking at any widespread fog for you this morning. Temperatures are running into the lower 50s. Bakersfield right now at 50 degrees. We've got a calm wind, and look at the visibility. Not bad at nine miles. The only area where we see fog right now is west of us, and then uh, we get low visibility up near Merced down to one mile. As we take a look at the uh, hour by hour for today, we'll be right near 60 by 11, mid 60s by 3 o'clock this afternoon. To Hatchby, you're at 45 degrees right now, a northwest wind at 12. I do expect those uh, winds to pick up throughout the day, and temperatures are expected to be into the upper 50s. As mentioned, we are expecting to see some rain coming into the forecast as we head into our Saturday, so that's something we'll be looking uh, towards. Uh, not a lot, though, uh, right around 500 to a tenth of an inch, but tonight, if you're looking for something to do, this is the place to be. Holiday light to calm. There's so many great things to see out here. And in just a minute, I'm going to go make my way around to the grounds and find something really spectacular to show you. There's so many things that are spectacular around yes. here. Yes. Yeah. All right. All right. Well, speaking of how spectacular it is, Josh Barnett with Light Tasmic has been lighting up the holiday season out here at Calm for 17 years now. Yeah, and as you can imagine, there's so much that happens here. And it's not just, uh, you know, for you at home, you may put your holiday lights up maybe. You know what a chore that is. Yeah, yeah. You know how long it takes just to put the lights up around your house. Well, imagine putting all the lights up around Calm. It takes months and a lot of imagination. Yeah, 17's Vanessa Dillon is joining us live from somewhere roaming the grounds <laughs> out here at Calm with a look at the work that goes into putting in this display. Good morning, Maddie and Alex. First of all, can I just say this is my first time at Holiday Lights at Calm and it is absolutely amazing. Let's just say I'm dreaming of a bright Christmas this year. See what I did there? Uh, but besides that, you know what? Every year it takes so much work to get us ready into the holiday spirit and it even takes Josh Barnett and his Lightasmic team over a year to get you ready for Calm and make your time here merry and bright. <laughs> It was a few months before Christmas when a few of Santa's elves start picking up and hanging millions of lights. Also, they can sparkle loud and bright at the California Living Museum. <laughs> 
your average group of elves. They work for Lightasmic, a local lighting company that prides themselves in making every Christmas season at Calm brighter than the last. This takes a lot of hard work. It definitely does not happen overnight. In fact, we're already planning for 2020 for what we can do next year, so it is a year-round uh, job. The vision to make Christmas sparkle, all a result of one kid's fascination with Christmas lights. As a child, I loved Christmas lights. Uh, my outlet for that was getting to decorate my Nana's house. And I started um, about six, seven years old, just with a couple strands of lights, and every year I would add more. For Burnett, being founder and president of Lightasmic is the job of a lifetime, with a team of people just as eager as him to make your holiday visit unforgettable. It's amazing. It's amazing to see all these little kids running around, all happy about the lights, want to take pictures with the lights. It's really, it's a happy feeling, you know, to make joy to people's life, you know, just to be able to do lights and make people happy by that, you know, so that makes everything a lot better. But the job requires a lot of work from Santa's workshop. Olga Lopez, Lightasmic Lighting Supervisor, says it takes months to get lights up and the rest of the year to create the designs. It's a lot of hard work. We, we do our 10 to 12 hour days, you know, and everybody here just wants to make sure that we, we make it look awesome, pretty much, like always, always making it better for the next year. But the end result of their hard work, she says, is so worth it. Amazed. I'm always amazed. I'm always surprised. And I always want to see, you know, particular displays that we do. All right, well, Vanessa is going to join us with Josh Barnett coming up in just a few minutes. And we're going to talk to him as well, talk to the genius behind this amazing display. But it's it's so cool to see what goes into making this I happen. Mean, even if you've been out here, you know, year after year, you know that it's just incredible. But again, there's a lot of new things this year, mm -hmm. some change up. So you definitely will not, you don't want to miss it. All right, well, still ahead, we have your weekend forecast. Kevin's also roaming the grounds. So we'll check in with him coming up after this. This piece of property is really hallowed ground in a way. Partnering with the local organizations that make a difference. When you partner with a charity, you tell a story. For each and every organization that has a fundraiser here, we will also be giving back. Pride in our community combined with an unprecedented outpouring of generosity from you. We're going to tell so many stories. Compassion Corner. Thank you, Kern County. Don't move. We'll get you to the nurse's office right away. You may be out of school for a few days, but don't worry about your homework. I'll handle everything. Jacoby and Myers has been helping people for over 40 years. Call us first. The holidays are here and so is Toyotathon. Wrap up a great year-end deal with employee pricing on all remaining 2019 Toyota models. Lease a brand new Corolla for only $199 a month or a brand new Camry for only $279 a month. The season of giving continues with a no-cost complimentary maintenance plan for two years, 25,000 miles, and 24-hour roadside assistance. If you're going to wish, then wish big. Toyotathon is on. Merry Christmas from all of of us at North Bakersfield Toyota, Freeway 99 and 7 Standard. In celebration of Strata Credit Union's 70th anniversary, they are fulfilling their 70th wish by giving away a Christmas tree, presents, and other surprises to three families who used to live in the Bakersfield Homeless Center. Watch 17 News at Sunrise to see Strata make the holidays a little merrier. Is it too early for pizza? Not when it's Little Caesars. Join Little Caesars Pizza in wishing Kern County a good morning. Upload your eight-second morning message to KGET.com and watch KGET weekday mornings to see if yours airs. Pizza, pizza. Wait a second. That cupcake is worth way more than just three pieces of candy. Hey, we're not trying to take all of your candy. We just want what's fair. Jacoby and Myers has been helping people for over 40 years. We'd love to help you too. 17 News is brought to you by Bakersfield Christmas Town. Come visit Santa any night through December 31st. This Friday, Saturday, and Sunday at More Furniture for Less. Join us for a very special limited time event. Get 72 months, no interest financing. That's six years with no interest on holiday sale priced furniture store wide. Treat your home to new styles just in time for holiday entertaining. Our holiday sale is on now with no interest financing for 72 months. That's six full years. Don't wait. It's this weekend only at More Furniture for Less. And online at morefurniture.com.
Welcome back. It is 539. It's a little chilly out here this morning, but I not just, bad. I love the music going into this. It's always festive. It is. Yeah, our producer's so like, fun. are they too loud? I'm like, oh, no, they're fine. They're, they're great. You know, they're, we're rehearsing over there. We've yeah, we've got the choir. Bakersfield Master yeah. Chorale going to perform for us in a few minutes. Yeah, we're just kind of in a winter holiday wonderland mm -hmm. here at Calm uh, this morning, and the weather has just been perfect out here. We're bundled up a little bit because mm -hmm. temperatures are a little cooler, but uh, no fog as we were driving out here this morning, and that is patchy at best. We are looking at sunny skies today. 50 degrees to start off our morning. We've got a calm wind out there, and you can see uh, visibility is good at 9 miles. Overnight so far, 50, so well above the normal of 39. Normal high, 57 today, and the record of 79 set back in 1998. You can see for the valley, 40s and 50s right now. And then for the mountains, we've got 40s, 45 out of Tehachapi, and uh, 30s, though, out of Ridgecrest. So grab a jacket if you're heading out. Skies remain clear at least for today before we see some changes heading into tomorrow. Uh, in terms of the fog, we've got that north and west of us. Visibility in Merced down to one mile, but Fresno looking good at 10 miles. And you can see rain is starting to fall in Northern California. That subtropical flow is still positioned north. Uh, the ridge of high pressure is going to break down here, allow for this trough to uh, move a little more south and east, and that will bring the chance of showers our direction as we head into tomorrow. I think it'll be light. It'll linger into uh, Sunday morning, but right now looking between five hundredths and a tenth of an inch for the valley and the mountains. So uh, not a storm like we saw last Sunday where some areas picked up a half an inch with those thunderstorms. 65 today in Bakersfield, 64 in Wasco, Taft at 63 with a light wind. Uh, it'll be breezy into the mountains today with that west wind 25 to 30, 57 in Fraser Park, uh, 58 in Tashby, 60s into the Kern River Valley and then for the desert. Look for sunny skies, a west wind 10 to 20 and 65 in Mojave. Your extended forecast, you can see a 40% chance of showers tomorrow lingering into early Sunday mornings. Monday, we're looking sunny and some clouds move in Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday of next week. Temperatures in the lower 60s. And then for the mountains, we'll keep the winds around through uh, all of the weekend. And then by Monday, clearing things out. Some clouds move back in Tuesday, Wednesday with that breeze. Temperatures are going to be somewhat cool, though, still remaining into the 40s as we head into the weekend and next week. And then for the Kernaver Valley, a chance of showers tomorrow under windy conditions, uh, breezy and sunny as we head into Sunday. You may see a light shower early in the morning hours on Sunday. And then Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, some clouds hang around and temperatures into the 50s. So, not a bad weekend, not looking at a storm as we saw um, last weekend, so that is a good thing. But definitely a little bit of light rain expected for tomorrow. But tonight, a perfect night to come out and enjoy Holiday Lights at Call. Oh, that's great news. We love to hear that. And joining us now, actually, is the, the man, man behind hour. it all. <laughs> Josh Barnett with Light Tasmic. Josh, you know how much we love this display. It's so amazing. Oh, well, thank you guys for coming out, especially on our 17th year. Yeah, by the that's way, thanks for this. Oh, I mean, yeah, this absolutely. is incredible. Fantastic. You're welcome. So yeah. let, let, let's just talk about a little bit. Uh, 17 years. That is, so cool. uh, that's a long time that you've been out here at, at Calm. I mean, I remember coming out here the very first year, uh, 17 years ago, when this was, uh, it was a lot different. Talk a little bit about what it's like for you to see the last 17 years, this place just transformed. So we've had a lot of history in the last yeah. 17 years. We've gone from incandescent to LED. Mm -hmm. um, that's helped our power. That's helped the vibrancy of the event. And we've also added a lot of displays. A lot of people say, well, gee, in 17 years, how different can it be? It's a lot different. A lot has changed. And we've added so much new for people to see this year. How do you keep it home? changing throughout the years? Like we, we just kind of walk through the grounds and go, what can we do to make this better? And ideas will start sprouting out. And I was amazed to find out, and I asked Josh this years ago, I'm like, so where do you get all these little these props and stuff like that? Like, where do you order them? Because uh, Josh inspired me to be uh, to do some light displays in my own house, and he says, oh, we make all these in our own shop. That's incredible. So you have a team that works hard year-round on this. We do. We have a very talented team. I'm very lucky to have them. So again, I mean, you're, you're talking about you've got this team that, that works on this. We see the final product, right? We see what happens between, you know, the Christmas season, but it takes all year long to put all this together, right? It, it does. And actually right now, today, they'll be out of our shop building for next year. Wow, that's wow. incredible. We're already planning for next year, yeah, and we're excited. And, and you start in August putting these up On here? site, we start in August. Wow. Yep. yep. And some people may ask, how did you get started? And we were talking about this a little bit ago. It all started with a, a light strand in your grandma's bush. Yeah, I, one, I have a Polaroid of a strand of lights going across her bushes in front of her house. And that was it. That was the spark. And, and you started so, doing that when you were a kid? Yeah. yeah was, and now you've got, what, maybe a couple miles worth of lights? Really, it seems yeah, like more than I can count. More than that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> how many lights are, is it again? Three million lights here. Three million, million. lights. Yeah. Oh, my wow. goodness. 
so amazing. Well, how do you feel 17 years in? Yeah, you ready feel, to keep going? Oh, absolutely. 20? I'm ready. Let's keep going. Yeah. So bigger again, and better. And we should say again, you know, we've got that USA Today poll that's going to be coming out later today talking about uh, comparing this light show to all other light shows across the country. Uh, just, just knowing that you've been recognized on a national scale how does that make you feel it's awesome you know it is a lot of hard work yeah and so for us to be with um, those other people we're in great company well, so I think, okay. I think you deserve I think calm deserves number one it better number be number one. one it better Absolutely. be yeah. you know that we're in your corner so we can't wait to find out those results awesome. later today Josh thanks so much for being with oh us yeah thank morning. you guys we appreciate okay it. Yeah. thanks for all this all right we'll still let come we're gonna uh, take a break and then we'll toss it to the 17 News Center with a look at your headlines on this Friday Accelerated Urgent Care has grown again with their newest location on the corner of Coffee and Stockdale. Voted the best urgent care center in Kern County. Accelerated Urgent Care provides the highest quality patient care delivered by emergency trained doctors to both adults and children. Accelerated Urgent Care offers treatments for common conditions such as pneumonia, stomach flu, colds, infections, and more. With an average wait time of only 10 minutes, you'll be in and out the door in no time. Accelerated Urgent Care. Expert care on your time. Meathead Movers, your local student athlete movers, are here in Bakersfield. Our military inspired professional training program ensures that our strong, clean cut student athletes jog when not carrying items. We hire champions who are compensated more when our customers' items are not damaged, giving you a worry free moving experience. We 100% guarantee your satisfaction. So call our award winning customer service today to schedule your free estimate. Working in the spirit of the Golden Empire, you're watching 17 News at Sunrise. Twas the night before Toyotathon, and all through the town, every creature was waiting for what soon would go down. The Camrys were priced with savings and care, in hopes that St. Nicholas soon would be there. Tacomas and Tundras, Corollas and RAV4s, each glistening and sparkling like never before. Toyotathon happens only once a year, bringing great value in the spirit of cheer. But the truth of the matter is we anticipate the day that Jesus was placed in a manger of hay. Let's go, Jesus. Keep pushing. No matter how hard they try, they know that they can't stop the mission. Sunday Night Football on KGET TV 17 is brought to you locally by Young Woldridge. Welcome back. It's 547 live here at Calm. And we've got so much still to talk about here live at Calm. But first, we're going to take a quick break. We're going to send it over to Aton Wallace, who is in the 17 News studio with a look at your Friday morning headlines. Good morning, Aton. Good morning, Alex. Good morning, Maddie. Just beautiful out there. And we'll check back in with you in a few minutes. But first now, to the impeachment inquiry, the House Judiciary Committee meets this morning to resume discussing two articles of impeachment against President Trump. This after members debated articles for most of Thursday and didn't cross the finish line. Here's more from Washington. After 14 hours of debate, House Judiciary Chairman Jerry Nadler calls a sudden timeout before taking final votes. The committee is in recess. GOP ranking member Doug Collins immediately voiced his opposition. You chose not to consult the ranking member on a schedule issue of this magnitude? So typical. This is the, the, this is the kangaroo court that we're talking about. One major result of Nadler's last minute delay, the votes weren't taken in the middle of the night. We want to do it in broad daylight, so first thing in the morning so um, everyone can see exactly what's going on. Republicans say this move was a case of showboating. We did not. We had plenty of more amendments and other things we could have offered tonight and been here all night. 
but we chose to say, we said all we need to say, they said all they need to say, and we're finishing this up. That was the most lack of integrity thing I've ever seen by a member of Congress, and especially a chairman. Another result of Nadler's move, no additional amendments can be offered, which means no more debating. Friday's vote is expected to go along party lines. A full House vote on the articles is expected next week. If President Trump is impeached, the matter then goes to the GOP-led Senate. I'm John Lawrence reporting. All right, we'll definitely keep an eye out on that as the day continues. Now that's a look at some of the day's top stories on this Friday. For now, let me send it back to Maddie, Alex, and the entire Sunrise team live at com. And just beautiful lights out there, Maddie and Alex. And for all of the holidays this holiday season, it's just a good way to get out there and, and literally bring light into this world, isn't it? Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. It's lighting up our Friday morning. Thank you so much, Aton. All right, well, again, we've got a lot of surprises still in store for you this morning. That's right. The Bakersfield Master Corral has been serenading us behind the scenes, and they're going to show you what they've got in store for this holiday season coming up after the break. This portion of 17 News is brought to you by Infinity of Bakersfield. Unparalleled luxury and incredible performance is what you'll find at Infinity of Bakersfield. Kern Schools Federal Credit Union is a local choice for your financial needs. But just because we're local doesn't mean you can't take us wherever your travels or life may be. Beyond traditional banking, Kern Schools also offers the latest in mobile and digital banking, as well as access to over 30,000 ATMs nationwide. Simply download the Co-op ATM Locator app to find an ATM near you. And as we continue to grow, our focus on providing greater convenience to make your life easier and better will not change. Kern Schools, serving our community for more than 80 years. Infinity is celebrating their 30th anniversary. For a limited time, get a fully redesigned QX50 for only $349 per month. Or get a Q50 for only $265 per month. Our customers love their Infinities. Here's what a few have to say. We are over the moon with our Infinities. It's got power. It's got styling. It's a luxury car. It's everything we could have hoped for. Visit Infinity of Bakersfield in the Auto Mall. What makes Aspire Counseling Services a great place for addiction treatment is our licensed counselors. They're the real deal. Family is everything to me. I know firsthand how drugs and alcohol can affect those close relationships, but I also know how they can be repaired. Aspire is here for individuals and family members affected by addiction. What makes Aspire different from any other treatment facility is our focus on family recovery and ensuring the best chance of success. You don't have to go through this alone. Please go online or call us today. News Talk AM 1560 and FM 97.7 KNZR. We're talking to you. Bakersfield's News Talk leader. Mornings, Glenn Beck, 6 to 9 a.m. Plus local news, traffic and weather. Rush Limbaugh, 9 to noon. Sean Hannity, noon to 3. Local hot talk with Terry Maxwell, 3 to 6. Plus news, traffic and weather with the news first team of Ken Hopper, Tony Lee, and Bill Curtis. News Talk AM 1560 and FM 97.7 KNZR. Conservative, proud, and connected. This morning on Today, shipping deadlines are here, and today's holiday consumer has what you need to know to get your packages delivered on time. Plus, Cheers. celebrate the season with the Brady's. Let's see what Maureen got. Thanks, you guys. This morning on Today. All right, welcome back. If you haven't gotten to the holiday spirit yet, well, that is about to change because we have a very special surprise for you this morning from the Bakersfield Master Corral. Yeah, Jerry Bazell, the president, is joining us as well as a, a portion of the corral. It's a lot more than this yes, if you come out to their concert. Yes. Wow. And how many seasons have you been serenading We've the community been for Christmas? We've been serenading the community, <laughs> or as we like to say, enriching the community with choral music for 87 years. So amazing. And we're so excited that tomorrow night we get to have a master corral Christmas and it is at St. John's 7 o'clock and tickets are 25 for adults $10 for students but this year we added some value we are brought in the guest artist Robert McNeil and he is the tenor from Shafter and he sings professionally all over the world he's coming to sing as well as we are sharing Kevin Memley's Gloria, which is a new work of only six years. 
and we're sharing that as well. So we've added to the regular Messiah courses and things that we normally do. So this is a great year. And we kind of, yeah, and we're going to kind of get a preview this morning oh, yeah. about what that concert is going to look like tomorrow night. But again, you've got 50 voices. We have 50 voices. Oh, that's going to be uh, magical to hear. We, and we uh, are excited that we have uh, Robert with us as well. Mm -hmm. Dr. Provincial, our director, uh, has really worked hard to get us prepared as well. And uh, so I think everyone will enjoy a great concert. We, we, understand that a lot of people consider us part of their Christmas season and so we're excited to provide that again tomorrow night. So who are the members of the Bakersfield Master Chorale? They're, How did you all get involved? Well we uh, we do audition but uh, they're from all different walks of life and businesses and independent and and retired and all of that and of course we have uh, every section soprano tenor bass and alto uh so we uh we're we're uh we love to sing oh, and you do this love, year round right we love to sing uh it's not quite year round we oh, okay. do have a season we usually start in september and end in may okay so. and and today right now we're going to get a preview right. of this uh of, of joy to the world joy to the world all right so take it away all right yeah. The sounding joy, 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 the the glories of His righteousness. And wonders of His love, and wonders of His love, and wonders of His love. All right, uh, we'll, uh, we'll take a quick break. We'll be back with more after this. Experience the difference at Sing Ha Thai, Bakersfield's first Thai restaurant. Come in for dinner and enjoy flavorful, authentic Thai cuisine prepared with all the right ingredients. We offer a variety of noodle, seafood, and savory curry dishes, all from deliciously mild to spicy hot. Dine in, take out, or get it delivered. Sing Ha Thai Restaurant, sharing our family recipes for over 15 years. Open six days a week at 5432 California Avenue. Welcome to Far Medical Group, a family medicine group where we are focused on creating long-term relationships with patients and their families, while also providing quality, compassionate care. We take pride in listening to your questions and encourage our patients to have an open dialogue about their health. We provide routine wellness exams, disease prevention, and treatment. It's our goal to listen to you, earn your trust, and exceed your expectations. The best medical group by far, and far from ordinary. Precision's motto is a name you can trust. We know that it's important to you that you want to know who's coming out to your house. We never hire subcontractors. That's why Precision Door shows up in a marked vehicle with a state license displayed. Technicians are always in uniform. Before the technician or installer gets to your home, you'll receive an email with a photo and a biography of who's coming out. We do this so you feel confident in that Precision Door is sending out the right person for the right job and to be the company that you can trust. Precision Door service, a name you can trust.
Did you know that Mazda has been named the best car brand by U.S. News & World Report? Right now, purchase any new 2019 or 2020 Mazda and get 0.9% financing for 60 months and no payments for 90 days. That means zero, zilch, nada for 90 days. That can sure come in handy for the holidays. Come join the happy family of Mazda owners today and get 0.9% financing for 60 months and zero payments for 90 days. Visit Bakersfield Mazda in the Auto Mall. Working in the spirit of the Golden Empire, this is 17 News at Sunrise. Good morning. Great to have you with us. We are live here at Calm, the entire 17 News at Sunrise crew. It's our annual show for the holiday lights, and we're so glad to have you with us. We have a lot of holiday fun, some stuff to get you in the Christmas spirit planned for you this morning. And this is an especially special year because this is the 17th year Ta -da! of uh, holiday lights at Calm. So, of course, uh, we thought it was special to come out here as, you know, this year for us. And we had just have to give a quick shout out to Josh Barnett who made this a couple days ago. And it looks incredible. So incredible. He is incredibly talented. We all know that from everything he puts together here. And we're going to hear a little bit more from him about what goes into putting these displays together coming up in a few minutes. But first, we're taking a look at your forecast because if you haven't come out yet, uh, you know, time is ticking, of course. And tonight, be a perfect be night. Perfect. Weather -wise. Night tonight, weather wise, we're looking at a sunny day. Uh, we should be clear until late tonight into tomorrow. It's just amazing to hear that oh, over 2,000 people a night come out to Calm. That's just incredible. And so tonight, I'm sure it'll be a big night. 49 degrees uh, for Bakersfield right now. We have a southeast wind light at uh, three miles per hour. Visibility's been good. We haven't had much of a fog issue. And we take a look at the uh, fog uh, right now, and it's mainly west of us if you're headed along the coast. And then up near Merced, we're down to two miles miles visibility at this time. As we take a look at the hour by hour, we're going to be in the 60s this afternoon, right around 2, between 2 and 4, right around 64. And then for the Tehachapi area, 45 degrees right now, light wind out of the northwest at 9. Visibility good for you. And as we take a look at the temperatures throughout today, we are expecting a mild day with the upper 50s. I do expect the winds to pick up as well. So keep that in mind into our mountain areas. And then, yes, the chance of some light rain comes into the forecast as we head into tomorrow. We're going to have much more on that. That, and I'm going to go make my way around the grounds as well and see what else is uh, uh, all lit up around the area. Yeah, there's Fun a lot stuff. to see. Oh, there's a lot to see, and Lana mm -hmm. Fade is going to join me as well. Uh, so, exciting. Yeah, right, she'll okay. talk about your opportunities to volunteer out yeah. here at Calm and, and maybe get in to see the lights for free one That's night. That's what keeps yeah. this place going, volunteers. Mm -hmm. All right, thanks, Kev. Okay, well, by now, you probably know, we've been talking about this all year long. Strata Credit Union has been granting 70 wishes this year for its 70th anniversary. Year-long campaign of bringing joy and healing. And during the Christmas season, they're going to finish it off. One final wish. Exactly. Some Christmas cheer for families in need this holiday season. Strata Credit Union joined with us, KGET, in our annual Christmas tree giveaway. And you just have to take a look at the magic that happened. Santa's sleigh looks a little different this year. His elves a little taller. But the joy is all the same. For its final wish, Strata Credit Union joined with KGET Channel 17 to make the holidays a little more merry and bright for three families in our community. The first, the Woods family. Lenise Woods and her four boys were homeless. The Bakersfield Homeless Center helped find the family housing, and Strata Credit Union made sure to make their new house feel like a home this Christmas. They told me that a, a family adopted us, and then that they would just give us gifts, but I wasn't expecting like the trees and the decorations and it, well, all these gifts. <laughs> This is a big blessing. What a wonderful thing to experience and to see and know that we have brought happiness to a family that was experiencing a little trouble. And we helped make things a little lighter this holiday season. Excited. My kids are like beyond excited. You see them clapping? <laughs> um, my kids are beyond excited. Like, it's a big blessing. We got our house. I think that's made Christmas for all of yeah. us. <laughs> Hi. Yeah, you got presents? Bye. Tree? <gasps> Yay. Huh. Maybe, really exciting, like, I'm happy that we got presents, we got a house, and I'm grateful that they help us, 
And I want to say thank you for helping us and all the people that you helped. So Strata Credit Union and KGET will join together one more time, or actually two more times, to help two additional families in need this holiday season make their Christmas a little more merry and bright. But as you can see, I mean, it was it Warms was your wonderful. heart. It was so oh, magical. Oh, yeah. The, the, little, kiddos. the little boys doing oh. cartwheels, excited to have so presents cool. under the tree. It's really cool. That's mm -hmm. what Christmas is all about. Exactly. I all love right. it. Thanks so much, Tab. And of course, uh, you know, it is the Christmas season and uh, there are a lot of kids that are looking uh, pretty much for your help during this holiday season mm -hmm. to, to simply just have a, a gift under the tree. Our 17 Days of Christmas toy drive is underway. Those gifts are going to go to kids and families at the Bakersfield Homeless Center. Families like the ones that Tabitha just introduced us to and kids and families over at the Boys and Girls Club of Kern County. So if you can drop by a toy or a gift donation, you have until December 17th to do that. And we will be uh, wrapping those up and handing those out later this month. But December 17th, drop them off either at our studio, 2120 L Street, or you can drop them off at the Bakersfield Homeless Center or the Boys and Girls Club directly. Okay, well, of course, you know, during the holiday season, there's a lot of traditions that people do. Uh, one of them is, at least in my family, is baking. Oh, is baking love as it. many cookies as you possibly can. <laughs> and it's always eating as many eating. as you possibly the can. The problem is, it's usually like, I, I get into the icing too much, you know, beforehand. And because <laughs> I just like taking the, like, you know, a couple of licks of, the light, uh, of icing. But um, this is a whole new level uh, of decorating here. And it turns out it's, it's doable, it's possible. Joining us this morning is Aaron and Jennifer from Cornerstone Bakery uh, here to talk about, uh, you know, kind of taking, uh, you know, cookie decorating to the next level. I Absolutely. love it. Thank you guys so much for joining us this morning. First of all, we appreciate it. And you guys are going to show us a couple of the insider tricks to decorate like the pros at home, right? We are, yes. Okay, I love it. <laughs> what are okay, we starting so with? We start? Let's start with a simple one here. Okay. And you basically have two different kinds of icing. Which one are we doing here? We're going to do the snowman with the snow this on This one? Oh, this is so cute. And we're going to do it in buttercream. Now, little technical issue. It's super it's cold. It's cold? <laughs> Usually you'd be doing this Normally, in a warm kitchen. It's yeah. yeah. cold in the bakery. <laughs> so we're going to see if I'm strong enough to pipe this now. I am not. Okay. <laughs> well, that's what happens. You know, usually you don't bake or decorate cookies in the uh, in the cold and in the outside. The health department frowns on that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, what one are we looking working on over here, Jen? So, this is the uh, snowman cookie. Something very easy that you can do at home. Um, you can see we uh, just have a cookie. We're going to flood it with some royal icing, and uh, we, as soon as we get this flooded, because it's very cold, uh, we're going to put a uh, marshmallow right on top. Quite the hand strength you yeah. have there, I might say. Yeah, let's show Great the... Great job. Uh, is nearly done. Okay. This is our finished product, and all he needs, he says confidently, <laughs> is a pair of arms. Okay. We'll see how... So you just flood, and it just has to look like a melted puddle of snow. So Absolutely. it's really... Absolutely. <laughs> that is the best whatever. way to go. I think I can do that. I love yes. it. Actually, here, you can. Oh, oh right. perfect. Okay, so what I'm going to do is just basically, well, and show us what you've done. You just basically put the eyes, the Cute. mouth, and the nose yep. on, on your little marshmallow. And, uh, I'm and just going to stick it right this on. on top. What's your right carrot there? Uh, What's that's his nose? a piece of fondant. Oh, okay. And then edible markers it. to put the eyes on. Cute. And then you need some buttons. Okay, I'm going to take my, my gloves off really quick. <laughs> I don't help. usually bake with gloves. Okay, and then what is this? These are oh, M &Ms. the buttons. I'm, yeah. Oh, that's right. Okay. Yeah. So cute. Okay. That is adorable, our melted snowman. Aaron, are we going to, okay, you're working on the Christmas tree now. Yes. Okay, so you start with a Christmas tree shaped cookie and you're gonna flood the bottom with the white icing. Absolutely. Okay, but then we get to the magical Christmas tree. This well, is so and cool. it sets much more quickly when it's frozen. <laughs> That's a plus. That's a plus. Um, and I wanna try yeah. this with my kids tomorrow at home. So you need the cookies and then you need our sugar right. cones, right? But we're going to take it up a notch since we probably will be doing oh this with kids. Gosh, oh, no. Stop oh, it. no. They Let's would freak fill out. it with the M&Ms. <laughs> Oops. It's like the what ornaments. A cute it's like idea. the ornaments in the tree. Absolutely. Yes. Yes. Oh, I love it. And then you just oh, turn it upside oh. down. Surprise. And then they would you freak just out. pipe the tree on. Okay. Which, so you just take that and then it's some green icing with what, like a star tip it's or something? It's a star tip. You okay. can use a star tip, a leaf tip. Okay. 
Anything to give you that texture. Cool. I'm gonna put this over here to. Nope. Yeah, it show. Is okay. Let's then see let's how we just do this. show. Let's just show what this could look like. Again, so, uh, here's a here's a tip. Don't bake or decorate your cookies outside, <laughs> outside. when it's cold. <laughs> There's something. But as you can see, he just did the the star tip green icing all around that, mm -hmm. and then your ornaments. Uh, just some rainbow nonpareils. So you just so take those cute. In. Gotta just throw it on. Oh, See, it's very oh easy my gosh, yes, this is right? definitely like kid that. friendly. Yes. Not kitchen friendly. <laughs> Coming you know, in here, vacuum after this. And what's neat about this is because it looks like, you know, you know, you look at this and you go, oh, there's no way I could ever do this. Mm -hmm. But it's only just a few steps. It is. Simple, simple. I mean, very few ingredients. And my favorite ingredient is glitter. So oh. if you want to kick it up even a little uh -huh. bit more, uh, when you're done, oh. you just sprinkle a little Who glitter. Who doesn't? You because can get presentation this on, is key. That's right. You can get this on Amazon. Very cheap, very fun for edible the kids. Glitter. Yes. Cool. Edible, edible glitter. Edible glitter. Yes. Edible glitter. Specifically, want edible glitter. And this is, what kinds of icing is this? Is this like just something uh, I buy in the this store? Buttercream. Okay, buttercream. This is store bought. Of course, we make our own because okay. we make. 35 gallons at a time. So, but yeah, you can use store bought okay. everything. Okay, and then the royal icing. Can I buy that in the store too? Uh, you can buy mixes, definitely. Oh, sweet. Yeah, okay. just mix Wonderful. water and it's ready to go. Oh, easy. The glitter on the snowman. The glitter. The glitter on the snowman. There you go. Beautiful. All, All right. right. Cornerstone Bakery, Erin. Jen, thanks so much for joining us this morning. We appreciate you guys. Thank you. Lots of fun. I'll show you. Uh, I'll show you how mine turn out. We'll see. <laughs> <laughs> we look forward to it. <laughs> All right, it is 6:09 right now, and we've got more uh, surprises here at Calm throughout the morning. But first, we're gonna take a break, and we'll be back after this. The spirit of giving, the thrill of saving, the magic of the season. Experience the outlets at Dahon for the holidays and create unforgettable memories. It's a shopping destination unlike any other, with something for everyone on your gift list and fun for the whole family. Save up to 65% on more than 60 of the top brands in fashion, accessories, and home goods. It's all waiting for you at the outlets at Dahon. Your must-shop stop for the holidays. I-5 and Highway 99 just south of Bakersfield. Hi, it's Patrick Beck. I'm so excited to introduce you to the largest Hyundai ever made, the all-new Hyundai Palisade. With three rows and roof for eight passengers, the all-new Hyundai Palisade offers upscale style, intelligence, and versatility. And with its best-in-class safety features, the all-new Hyundai Palisade will keep you safe all across California. At Bakersfield Hyundai, we have a great selection of the all-new Hyundai Palisade. Come see us in the all-new Hyundai Palisade today. The name to remember, Bakersfield Hyundai, Bakersfield Hyundai. Hablamos idioma. This Friday, Saturday, and Sunday at More Furniture for Less. Join us for a very special limited time event. Get 72 months, no interest financing. That's six years with no interest on holiday sale priced furniture store-wide. Treat your home to new styles just in time for holiday entertaining. Our holiday sale is on now with no interest financing for 72 months. That's six full years. Don't wait. It's this weekend only at More Furniture for Less. And online at morefurniture.com. Wall Street banks took advantage of millions of Americans during the recession. So my wife Kat and I took action. We started a nonprofit community bank with a simple theory. Give people a fair deal and real economic power. Invest in the community, in businesses owned by women and people of color, in affordable housing. The difference between words and actions matters. That's a lesson politicians in Washington could use right now. I'm Tom Steyer, and I approve this message. This segment of Channel 17 News is sponsored by Optimal Hospice Care, providing comfort, dignity, and a better quality of life for our community. Sunday brunch is an opportunity for large families to come over and enjoy great food together. We want our guests to feel like family when they arrive. We serve all traditional favorites, including our seafood. Try our homemade coffee. It's delicious. Bring your family and come experience what a family-owned Mexican food restaurant is all about. holiday lights at calm and we are checking in with Kevin for a look at your weekend forecast. All right so he has been wandering around the grounds here at calm taking a look at uh, you know some of the new light displays and 
something that catches his eye. Uh, let's see where he's at now because I'm sure he's found something great. Well, I found the grasshoppers. That's uh, number one. You can see the grasshoppers uh, right behind me. But I also found uh, an indicator of what's to come for the weekend. Our little alligator friend behind me has his umbrella and a cloud and some raindrops um, because that's what we are expecting as we head into tomorrow. But today we're looking beautiful. If you want to come out to Holiday Lights of Calm, Atlanta Thane joins me right now. And I'll tell you, this is just magnificent. Uh, no surprise, but it gets yeah. it seems to get better and better every year. It doesn't it? It sure does. It absolutely does. What is this mean for you? You've been here a long time right. and to see it start and where it's at today. Well, it's kind of like calm, you know, it, to see when that started and where we are today is, is in line with both. Uh, it, both have come a long way. Both are so good for this community. And the wonderful thing about holiday lights is when you buy a ticket, it's not only three million lights, all these great displays, the train, the merry-go-round, everything involved. You're making an investment in calm because all the money stays here at Calm. It doesn't go into a personal bank account or, you know, a, a corporate someplace across, you know, the east. It stays here, and it has built the Calif uh, Cats of California exhibit, the Bighorn Sheep exhibit, uh, got the Condor exhibit revamped, and a lot of other things that are kind of behind the scenes but are very necessary for a zoo that you don't see. So very important. And uh, this community has been wonderfully supportive and we couldn't be more thankful. And this is a gym in our very own backyard. And not a lot of people have something like this. Right. E exactly right. And, you know, one of the things is, is get them out to see holiday lights, come back to the zoo and support the zoo because that's what is needed to make this grow. And we can. We just need that support every year, every year, every year. You're open tonight. What time do the yeah. doors open? 5.30. Um, the gate, the front gate and the ticket sales close at 8.30, but we are still here until 9 o'clock. So come on out yeah. and enjoy Holiday Lights of Calm. It is just beautiful out here, and we're looking at a sunny, and we should be clear even in the early uh, evening hours. We're not looking at any rain until tomorrow uh, morning on Saturday, and it'll be light. All right now, we're running into the 40s and 50s for the valley, 40s into the mountains, and you can see skies are clear right now. Very little fog. We haven't seen much fog either. Either, except uh, to the north and west of us, but Kern County uh, visibility at eight miles, so that is good. As we uh, take a look at the uh, satellite and radar right now, uh, we've got rain into northern California, but that is it. Again, that will spread a little farther south as we head into tomorrow as that ridge of high pressure breaks down for us. Uh, but again, light amounts. As we take a look at the headlines, we're going to end out the work week sunny and mild. That next storm arrives for tomorrow, lingering into Sunday. And right now, I'm looking between five hundredths and a tenth of an inch of rain uh, for Kern. County. Here's a look at the numbers for today. We'll look for 60, 65 in Bakersfield, 64 in Wasco, 63 in Taft. We'll be a little bit windy into the mountains today with that west wind, 25 to 30, 57 in Fraser Park, 58 in Tatchby, 60s for the Kern River Valley. And then for the desert, also the winds picking up and mid 60s for Mojave. Your extended forecast does show the chance of showers lingering through early Sunday. Monday, we're looking sunny. Some clouds Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday for the mountains. Also, uh, some showers for the weekend under cloudy conditions and windy. Uh, we'll be sunny on Monday, though, before more clouds arrive on Tuesday. And then for the Kern River Valley, also a chance of those light showers heading into tomorrow. We're back out here live. Holiday lights of calm. This is one of my favorite displays. I know there's a lot out here, but this is such a a vibrant display here. Our peacock that is uh, on the grounds here. And it's just amazing uh, how they build these uh, designs. Josh and his team are just amazing. But this is just one example of uh, the beautiful, beautiful um, light decorations that are out here for holiday lights at Calm. We're going to send it back to you guys and we'll have another check in just a little bit. So beautiful. All right. Thanks so much, Kath. All right, we're going to take a quick break. That's right. And you know it as the holiday classic. You probably watch every Christmas <laughs> Eve, but we're going to have a preview of the show at Stars after this. This portion of 17 News is brought to you by Steel. Get legendary quality now at your local Steel dealer. It was the night before Toyotathon, and all through the town, every creature was waiting for what soon would go down. The Camrys were priced with savings and care in hopes that St. Nicholas soon would be there. Tacomas and Tundras, Corollas and RAV4s, each glistening and sparkling like never before. Toyotathon happens only once a year, bringing great value in the spirit of cheer. But the truth of the matter is we anticipate the day that Jesus was placed in a manger of hay. Let's go, Jesus. If you are living with a condition, Kaiser Permanente's integrated care team will help you get through life without missing a beat. 
Kaiser Permanente. Thrive. Working in the spirit of the Golden Empire, you're watching 17 News at Sunrise. This is the best thing I've ever done for myself. It really changed my life. I can't believe I've waited so long. A heart health checkup can tell you if your heart age is older than your actual age, your risk factors for heart disease, and how changing your lifestyle can help avoid a devastating heart attack. Get a heart health checkup now at the Bakersfield Heart Hospital Women's Heart Center and change your life for the better. This portion of 17 News is brought to you by The Marketplace. Happy Holidays from The Marketplace. Come get your photo taken with Santa this holiday. Holiday shopping all wrapped up. The shops at Riverwalk. <laughs> Welcome back, live out here at Calm. We're doing a, a full newscast this morning about everything holiday in Bakersfield. So, of course, we have to feature. The Christmas Story. You probably know it as the movie you watch every Christmas Eve, but you can see it live on stage this holiday season at Stars Theater. It is a Christmas classic, and it's kind of neat to, to be able to be able to see it uh, on the on the stage. And joining us, we've got the full cast uh, here this morning. We've got Braxton as Ralphie. We've got Brandon as Randy. We've got Gabriel as the old man. <laughs> we've got Elizabeth as the mother, and we've got Bob as the uh, narrator. And this is an actual mother-daughter pair here, or mother-daughter, mother-son pair. I'm so sorry, Braxton. <laughs> What's it like doing this together? It's been a lot of fun. Um, it's fun to put soap in his mouth and yell at him constantly. And do you have fun with that too, Braxton? No. Well, I got to ask you now that you do that on stage. Is it a uh, do you threaten at, at home and say, "Hey, if you misbehave, I'll pull the soap I out again"? I do say, "Don't make me act like a mother on stage." Uh, but it's a lot of fun. It's been a special, special opportunity. So. Um, yeah, that's neat. And of course, you know. What has it been like for you guys to perform this Christmas classic? Because, I mean, everyone watches, it seems like, this movie, you know, close to Christmas. And uh, what is it like for you guys to actually be playing these, uh, these characters? It's think, yeah. Well, go ahead, Gabe. I was going to say, I think everyone knows that people are coming in with all the iconic moments they're right. waiting for. And so I think as a cast, we really try to figure out which of those were the big moments you really wanted to take some time, like the reveal of the leg lamp or, you know, <laughs> their <laughs> costumes where he has to flap and hold his arms open. So it's like we're trying to give those beats the justice that they deserve. Yeah. All right. And how can people come see the show this holiday season? Well, they can call uh, BMT Stars to get tickets uh, or go online. And uh, we are we have a performance tonight, and also Saturday and Sunday, and then we have five performances next week. The weekends are selling out very fast, so best uh, best bet is to get tickets for Wednesday or Thursday. Uh, but uh, it's it's been a big hit for us. So okay. that's fantastic. And, and Braxton and Brady, I got I got to ask you both, uh, what is it like? for you guys to play these historical characters since you probably you were not alive when this movie Have you came seen out. The movie? Yeah. Yes. Okay. So what was it like for you to watch the movie and then be able to play these uh, these brothers? So well, I watched I thought it was terrible. <laughs> 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 and then when I got on stage it was a totally total different um, appeal. What yeah. about you Braxton? Um I think it was, it's such a great opportunity to like just perform cuz he's super like funny and then like, I'm super funny. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, let's let's see some of that comedy. You guys, take it away. Despite the near debacle at, with the Santa and the elves at Higby's, I had managed to log my request for the air rifle with the big man. Who knows? Maybe I'd get the air rifle and a football. It was Christmas Eve. And I knew that Santa and the reindeer <clears throat> had already left the North Pole, and all good little boys and girls had to be asleep by the time they arrived. <coughs> they just had to. Ralphie, are you asleep? No. Are you? I don't think so. 
I toss and turn, turn and toss again. Hear the clock tick a talk it goes. So slow legs criss and cross again. Count a billion sheep, but I still can't sleep right when I've got a bust. Flip flop and readjust. Can't go to bed instead. My mind begins to race. Something's taking place. Every year I wait up to hear him go ho, ho, ho. Cause I know somewhere hovering over Indiana. Santa's covering ground at lightning speed. High above the town, flying down, better catch a quick old Sydney. Maybe still in Evansville or somewhere hovering over Indiana. Across the whole state and straight to me. Yeah! Okay. All, All right. right. You can see a Christmas story at Stars Theater. Go check them out online again. Weekends are selling out fast. That was a phenomenal performance. Okay, we're going to take a quick break. We'll have a look at your top stories on this Friday morning coming up after this. 17 News is dedicated to giving you a choice. Receiving your local news and information on the platform of your choice. Get social with 17. Good morning, Kern County. PK Zander here, MidCal Labor Solutions. MidCal Labor is currently hiring for a variety of temp, temp to hire, and direct hire positions. These are just a few of those jobs that we have to offer. Class A crane operators, $23 to $26 an hour. HVAC laborers, $13 an hour. Journeyman electricians, $30 to $40 an hour. Golf course maintenance workers, $13 an hour. Web designer, $15 to $16 an hour. HR admin, $17 an hour. Accountant, $120,000 a year. IT security analyst, $100,000 a year. HSC director, $250,000 a year. Agronomist, $250,000 a year. Walk-ins are always welcome. Please be prepared with an updated resume and two valid forms of ID. For more information on those positions, as well as all the jobs that we have to offer, log on to midcalabor.com or call us at 661-399-7000 themselves pedophile hunters. So the predator is coming to meet with a 15-year-old child. So he thinks. Who are you here to meet? Are they heroes? Who'd you buy this teddy bear for? It's our duty to protect children. Don't talk to little girls, brother. Or vigilantes. You say, I have the support of law enforcement, and they say, no, he does not. I said they've been receptive. Does that sound receptive? New Dr. Phil. Weekdays at 3, only on TV 17. 17 News Sunrise Interview is brought to you by Kern Schools Federal Credit Union. Together, we have something special. Kern Schools Federal Credit Union is a local choice for your financial needs. But just because we're local doesn't mean you can't take us wherever your travels or life may be. Beyond traditional banking, Kern Schools also offers the latest in mobile and digital banking, as well as access to over 30,000 ATMs nationwide. Simply download the Co-op ATM Locator app to find an ATM near you. And as we continue to grow, our focus on providing greater convenience to make your life easier and better will not change. Kern Schools, serving our community for more than 80 years. Welcome back. A truck drove into a power pole overnight in Oildale. It happened just after midnight. CHP and PG&E responded to the scene. The truck drove into a power pole and then a tree on Bristol Avenue. The power pole was left hanging, supported only by wires. Unfortunately, when he struck the uh, uh, power pole, he uh, damaged the pole to the point where they had to cut power to the area. The uh, roadway, pg and is on scene right now. The roadway uh, for about a block of Day Avenue will be closed most of Friday, uh, most of today through the, this afternoon, Friday afternoon, Friday evening for the repairs to that power pole. No one was hurt in the crash. CHP says it does not look like drugs or alcohol were involved in the accident. Now, up to a thousand homes are affected by this outage. No word yet on when power will come back in the area. It's been a violent few days in Bakersfield. Early yesterday, sheriff's deputies swarmed a Motel 6 after three people were shot. 
Now, the shooting happened around 7 a.m. at the Motel 6 on East Brundage Lane. You see it here. KCSO says they found a victim at the motel and took him to the hospital. But later they discovered two other men were also wounded and drove themselves to the hospital. One man died. Now, KCSO says it's not clear if the shooting happened inside a motel room or somewhere else on the property, and KCSO has not reported any arrests in this case. We'll keep you updated when we find out more on the shooting, and if you have any information, you're asked to call KCSO at 861-3110 or remain anonymous by calling the Secret Witness Hotline at 322-4040. All right, and that's a look at some of the top stories making news on this Friday. For now, let's send it back to Maddie and Alex and the entire Sunrise team live at Com. And man, oh man, Maddie and Alex, you know, I'm still thinking about those cookies that you were showing in the uh, beginning of this segment. <laughs> Maddie just found one. I'm still one. chewing on one. <laughs> uh, we'll bring you something back, Aton. All right. Well, by the way, if you want to come out and visit the lights here at Com, we're going to have a chance to win some tickets. Yeah, stay, or uh, that's coming up. Still ahead. Have this lovely local family take me in every single year as their own. They're a big Mexican family <laughs> and they cook all sorts of Mexican items, a lot of tamales. It really helps this place feel more like home. This year, the gift you really want is at Nissan's year-end event. Get holiday savings on our tech-filled lineup, like Rogue or Altima, both with available Safety Shield 360. Hurry in. Holiday offers end soon. Get a low $199 per month lease on Altima, or get 0% financing for up to 72 months on 12 models. Dear kids in my class, sorry I'm never there. It's not because I don't like you. I'm just a little busy. I'm at this cool place and I'm working really hard to get back to school. I miss math, but English, not so much. It's okay to ask me questions. I never heard of leukemia either. See you soon. Save me a seat at lunch. Valley Children's Futures We're Fighting For. The ultimate Christmas sale is on, and so are the savings at Earners Appliance Center, Kern County's number one appliance dealer. And what better way to celebrate with family and friends than new energy-saving appliances by KitchenAid and Whirlpool. Like this Whirlpool refrigerator, only $13.99, or this KitchenAid dishwasher, just $5.99, plus up to 18 months special financing. So if the lowest price and same-day delivery are for you, come to the ultimate Christmas sale at Earners. The buying the presents, the hanging of the lights, the doing all the decorations, the honeydew list is a mile long. And you know, it's, it's so great when December 25th rolls around. And then you got to remember the reason for the season. Merry Christmas. Working in the spirit of the Golden Empire, this is 17 News at Sunrise. Good morning. Great to have you with us for our special edition of 17 News at Sunrise. Live here from Holiday Lights at Calm. I'm Maddie Jansen alongside Alex Fisher and Kevin Charette. And we're having a lot of fun out here this morning. Just getting into everything holiday themed. Yeah, the sun is rising right now, but this is still the brightest part of Kern County mm -hmm. because all the lights are on. Three million to be uh, precise. <laughs> precise, yeah. I can't even imagine. It's hard and black. Three million lights. So and much work. And it's so cool out here this morning because not only do you have all the lights, but the moon, and we even have mm -hmm. a little bit of fog coming into mm -hmm. yeah, the really lights cool call right now. So it's just a beautiful morning all around. And it is also a little on the chilly side. We've got our uh, jackets on right now. So you'll definitely want to grab a jacket if you're going to be heading out and about. We're at 49 degrees currently in uh, Bakersfield, um, and visibility is looking good at eight miles. As we take a look at the uh, uh, fog satellite and you can see mainly just to the north and to the west no problems for us just yet and i don't expect any widespread fog we'll be in the 60s this afternoon and as we take a look at the temperature 45 degrees into hatchby with a northwest wind at nine i do expect that to pick up throughout the day and temperatures expected into the upper 50s so overall not a bad day for this friday but again we've been talking about the chance of rain heading our way and that is due to arrive tomorrow but if you're looking for something to do tonight this is the place to be and it's pretty amazing that talking to Lana, 2,000 people come through Calm every single night for holiday lights. Mm -hmm. It's just incredible. Kind of mesmerized actually by the light show that's going on behind us and, right now. And, and, a little they're, bit dancing. Of and they're dancing. And they're dancing. Yeah. yeah. <laughs>
I love that. You know, and again, there is so much work that goes behind putting three million lights mm -hmm. up around Calm. Yes, and we're gonna find out a little bit more about that coming up uh, later this morning with Vanessa and yeah. Josh. Yeah. All right, thanks so much, Kev. Yep. We're gonna send you off to go roam the grounds and uh, see what else you can find out there this I know. morning. Might have a might, might you might hear a little bit of sounds behind me coming up a little bit a little hoo hoo hoo. Ooh, hoo. interesting. Yeah. All right. Well, let's find out from Vanessa. She's going to join us this morning with uh, the work that goes into putting this light display together. Yeah. So let's turn things over to her uh, right now. This is her first holiday lights here at Calm, and uh, I think she's just been mesmerized <laughs> by all the lights and displays. Uh, Vanessa, what'd you find? Good morning, Maddie and Alex. Yeah, like you just said, it's my first year here at Holiday Lights at Calm, and it's been so neat. Let's just say, earlier I mentioned it, I am definitely dreaming of a bright Christmas this year. But you know what? It isn't an easy task to get all of this done. In fact, it takes Josh Barnett and his Lightasmic team about a year to make your days at Holiday Lights at Calm merry and bright. <laughs> It was a few months before Christmas when a few of Santa's elves start picking up and hanging millions of lights. Also, they can sparkle loud and bright at the California Living Museum. <laughs> your average group of elves. They work for Lightasmic, a local lighting company that prides themselves in making every Christmas season at Calm brighter than the last. This takes a lot of hard work. It definitely does not happen overnight. In fact, we're already planning for 2020 for what we can do next year, so it is a year-round uh, job. The vision to make Christmas sparkle, all a result of one kid's fascination with Christmas lights. As a child, I loved Christmas lights. Uh, my outlet for that was getting to decorate my Nana's house, and I started um, about six, seven years old, just with a couple strands of lights, and every year I would add more. For Burnett, being founder and president of Lightasmic is the job of a lifetime, with a team of people just as eager as him to make your holiday visit unforgettable. It's amazing. It's amazing to see all these little kids running around, all happy about the lights, want to take pictures with the lights. It's really, it's a happy feeling, you know, to make joy to people's life, you know, just to be able to do lights and make people happy by that, you know, so that makes everything a lot better. But the job requires a lot of work from Santa's workshop. Olga Lopez, Lightasmic Lighting Supervisor, says it takes months to get lights up and the rest of the year to create the designs. It's a lot of hard work. We, we do our 10 to 12 hour days, you know, and everybody here just wants to make sure that we, we make it look awesome, pretty much. Like, always, always making it better for the next year. But the end result of their hard work, she says, is so worth it. Amazed. I'm always amazed. I'm always surprised. And I always want to see, you know, particular displays that we do. And joining me this morning, I have Josh. And, you know, I know that you made a big effort at making everyone's holiday lights at Calm a very tree-tastic one, no pun intended. Uh, Josh, you know, we're highlighting this new holiday light display. How long did it really take for you guys to get this set up and ready to go? So this uh, new tree tunnel, it's a one-of-a-kind that we built. It took about two weeks to build it, one week in our shop and one week on site. Let's walk through it. Sure. And, so, and then we had to come out, though, measure the bridge we had to sit down on paper okay pencil it out how can we make this thing come to life so i mean it looks unreal and it is so cool it must be like what is that initial feeling once you see it complete and the final product how do you feel it's exciting to know that it actually works because we weren't sure that we could get it to look right you know have the right dimensions and uh, be safe and bright for everybody absolutely and so let's walk through you know there's so much to see i got as you saw in the story i kind of saw everything in daylight so it's definitely unreal to just be out here and see all the lights and you know going into the this is your 17th year seeing the progression of your work and your team's work what is that like to just finally see year after year i know you were telling me you want to get more creative and more what what is that process it, it like? never gets old we're always looking at new ways to improve and after 16 years we were thinking what could we do this year to make it different so we're actually standing where our winter wonderland used to be so now this is our california wildlife and we switched everything around this year and added a bunch of new stuff including the tree tunnel well i love how detail oriented you are 
are as well. You guys have to come out here and check it out. I know I'm a newbie here and I was just mind blown, but really there's so many things. There is even little, you said fire, fireflies, right? In yeah, the trees. In trees. Yes, birds up in the trees. If you go down into winter, look for the cardinals. Those are new this year. So always be looking up. And let's talk about the Yeti because I love that. If we can maybe pan over to it, right? It's You're telling me that it stomps. Normally there's sound and you could hear it kind of walk in. Yes, up on top of the reptile house. It was a new display we added last year and you've got speakers on either side of them and you can hear him uh, stomping around. You can hear him at one point take a nap. You can hear him snoring so and neat. he'll come out and growl every so often. Really so fun neat. One. Well, Josh, thank yeah, you yeah. so much for thank joining you. us this morning. And yeah, I mean, again, can't emphasize it enough. You guys got to check it out out here. And I know Maddie and Alex, you guys have been seeing this year after year. So uh, not, you know, you got to come back again every time, right? <laughs> There's always something different and new to check out, so absolutely, it's so worth it to come back year after year. It's always a lot of surprises every year. All right, we have a giveaway. If you want to come out and check out some of those surprises, if you want to win some tickets to come out to Holiday Lights at Calm, we're going to take caller 17. The number is 283-1771. Again, 283-1771 to win five tickets out to Holiday Lights at Calm. All right, good luck. All right, we'll still come. We're going to take a quick break. We'll have a look at your forecast after this. I'll take a grande, no foam, triple cap, double pump vanilla latte with three and a half ice cubes, slightly shaken, extra whip. Yeah, that's going to be an upcharge. Great! This one is on my Casasa cash back checking account. Uh huh. Casasa pays me cash back on everyday debit card purchases, plus refunds on ATM withdrawal fees. Go on, take back banking and treat yourself to monthly cash rewards. Switch to Casasa checking at Strata Credit Union. Welcome to a place where ingredients are fresh, a destination where you can create your own unique meal. Pokeland offers Bakersfield's best poke bowls and salads. Choose your fish, then pick from one of our signature sauces and garnishes. Pokeland, where fresh ingredients meet your creativity. I'm Tom Steyer, and I approve this message. Climate is the number one priority. I would declare a state of emergency on day one. Congress has never passed an important climate bill ever. This is a problem which continues to get worse. I've spent a decade fighting and beating oil companies, stopping pipelines, stopping fossil fuel plants, ensuring clean energy across the country. How are we going to pull this country together? We take on the biggest challenge in history, we save the world, and we do it together. Let KGET make your Christmas a little better with the 17 Days of Christmas giveaway. Log on to KGET.com, log on to 17 Days of Christmas, and enter to win prizes from sponsors like Victoria's and Essential Spa. Too cold or too hot, give holders a shot. Holders. This Friday, Saturday, and Sunday at More Furniture for Less. Join us for a very special limited time event. Get 72 months, no interest financing. That's six years with no interest on holiday sale priced furniture store-wide. Treat your home to new styles just in time for holiday entertaining. Our holiday sale is on now with no interest financing for 72 months. That's six full years. Don't wait. It's this weekend only at More Furniture for Less. And online at morefurniture.com. All right, welcome back. The sun is rising and uh, the light's still on. Yeah, it's beautiful out here on this Friday morning. Let's check out your weekend forecast now with Ke uh, with Kevin after after we go into Aton. I apologize. We're checking out the news of the day. He's back in the 17 News studios. Hey, Aton. Hey, Maddie and Alex. Yes, I promise we'll, we'll get to Kevin in just a moment. But first, a little bit on today's top news. First, on the impeachment inquiry. The House Judiciary Committee meets this morning to resume discussing the two articles of impeachment against President Trump. This after members debated articles for most of Thursday and did not cross the finish line. Here's the latest from Washington. After 14 hours of debate, House Judiciary Chairman Jerry Nadler calls a sudden timeout before taking final votes. The committee is in recess. GOP ranking member Doug Collins immediately voiced his opposition. You chose not to consult the ranking member on a schedule issue of this magnitude? Really? So typical. This is the, the, this is the kangaroo court that we're talking about. One major result of Nadler's last-minute delay, the votes weren't taken in the middle of the night. We want to do it in broad daylight, so first thing 
thing in the morning so um, everyone can see exactly what's going on. Republicans say this move was a case of showboating. We did not. We had plenty of more amendments and other things we could have offered tonight and been here all night. But we chose to say, we said all we need to say, they said all they need to say, and we're finishing this up. That was the most lack of integrity thing I've ever seen by a member of Congress, especially a chairman. Another result of Nadler's move, no additional amendments can be offered, which means no more debating. Friday's vote is expected to go along party lines. A full House vote on the articles is expected next week. If President Trump is impeached, the matter then goes to the GOP-led Senate. I'm John Lawrence reporting. And we, of course, will keep you posted on that. And that's a look at some of the top stories making news on this Friday. For now, let's send it back to Maddie, Alex, and the entire Sunrise team live at COM. Maddie and Alex, over to you. Hey, thanks so much, Aton. It's 643, and we're talking about your weekend forecast, finally, with Kevin. <laughs> yeah, he's got to look at it after the break. Honey baked ham for as long as I can remember. I grew up with it. Now our kids are growing up with it. My favorite is the glaze, the crunch, the sweetness, and just melt. Amazing. <laughs> the sides, there is no negotiation in my house are the cheesy potatoes and the cream corn, champagne mustard, and the pineapple chutney. I don't have to make anything anymore. There you go. Honey baked ham, it's on the job. I think I'm going to get a honey baked ham. This holiday, come home with honey baked ham. For our 85th anniversary, we decided to bring back a few clients for a reunion to see how they're doing now. What were some of the fears for your dad before we took the case? I was scared at one point. I said, I, I don't know how we're going to do this. And when I found Chico Salas, um, all those fears kind of went away. How did winning the case change your dad's life? His life went from complete devastation to back to normal. Chain Cone Styles. Real people, real results. Working in the spirit of the Golden Empire, you're watching 17 News at Sunrise. Ernest Hemingway wrote The Old Man in the Sea at 52. Satchel Paige was still dominating batters at 59. Celia Cruz was still winning Grammys at 77. John Wheeler illuminated our ideas of the universe at 70. And Roger Crouch was 56 when he first went into space. Your best is yet to come. Did you know that Mazda has been named the best car brand by U.S. News & World Report? Right now, purchase any new 2019 or 2020 Mazda and get 0.9% financing for 60 months and no payments for 90 days. That means zero, zilch, nada for 90 days. That can sure come in handy for the holidays. Come join the happy family of Mazda owners today and get 0.9% financing for 60 months and zero payments for 90 days. Visit Bakersfield Mazda in the Auto Mall. All right, welcome back out here at Holiday Lights at Calm. Of course, this is not the only festive thing happening around Kern County this holiday season. There's so much to go and see, including the presentation of the Nutcracker. Civic Dance Center puts this on every year. This is the 42nd annual performance. It's performed by local ballet lay students this year. Live music will be back during the performances thanks to the Shafter Symphony Orchestra. The ballet is happening tonight at 7.30. There are two performances tomorrow, uh, uh, 1 p.m. and then a 7.30 p.m. Then a final performance this weekend, Sunday at 1. Tickets are $40 for adults, 20 for students, 10 for children. And the Nutcracker will be at the Mechanics Bank Theater, formerly Robba Bank, on Truxton Avenue in downtown. A fun Christmas classic. All right, we are gearing up for the weekend, and Kevin is still roaming the grounds here on Calm, and he's got to look at your forecast on this Friday. So let's turn things over to him for hey, a look at that forecast. Good morning, Alex. Good morning, Maddie. The sun is up. I'm in the safari area, and you can see the elephant right behind me. I picked the shot because you can see the beautiful sunrise as well this morning, um, and we haven't seen much fog. There's a little bit of cloud cover on the west-facing slopes, as I can see in the distance, but that is about it. We should be looking at plenty of sunshine throughout the day before we see change late, late tonight into tomorrow. Let's take a look at what is to come, and high pressure has been in control, keeping the storm at bay and to the north right now, but that will break down as we go throughout 
around today, and that next trough will push on in, spreading some of that precipitation our direction. But we're ending out the work week sunny and mild. And uh, for the weekend, Saturday, lingering in the early morning hours of Sunday, I'm thinking between five hundredths and a tenth of an inch of rain for uh, the Kern County areas. As we take a look at the temperatures today, 65 in Bakersfield, Delano, McFarland, 63 in Taft. If you're coming out tonight to Holiday Lights of Calm, make sure you dress warm. It'll be a little bit chilly. And as we take a look at the mountains, 57 in Fraser Park, 58 in Tehachapi, 60s for the Kern River Valley today. I do expect those winds to pick up out of the west, 25 to 30. And then for the desert, we'll look for a breezy afternoon with that west wind, 10 to 20, and 65 in Mojave. Your extended forecast does show the chance of showers Saturday lingering into Sunday. And then by Monday, things will clear out, but then more clouds on the way Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. Temperatures will rebound next week into the lower 60s. And then for the mountains, also keeping those winds around through the end of the weekend. Monday looking great, though, just a little on the cool side with those 40s, and those 40s hang on through next Thursday. And then for the Kern River Valley, a chance of showers Saturday lingering into Sunday. Uh, on Sunday, cool with the upper 40s, but then right back into the 50s as we head into the early part of next week. So tonight will be a perfect night to come out and celebrate 17 years of a holiday lights at Calm. And again, just dress warm, but it will be dry. It's a great Friday night to enjoy some beautiful lights here at the California Living Museum. We're going to send it back to you guys. It certainly is. Thank you so much, Kevin. And another special holiday treat for you this morning. We're being joined by the Centennial High Chamber Singers. Director, Choir Director Patrick Bursloff joining us this morning. I know you guys had a late night last night, so thank you so much for coming in this morning. Yeah, we're just really happy to be here this morning. Yeah, we just had a choir concert last night. Went really well. These kids performed admirably. And, and uh, yeah, we've just been... Uh, bringing in the Christmas season yeah. <laughs> uh, the last couple of weeks. These kids have been busy with a lot of gigs here and there. And, I'm sure. Uh, but yeah. So talk a little bit about who is part of this choir. Yeah, these are the, the elite members of Centennial High School and uh, just a really great bunch of students that I'm really proud to teach each and every day and they sing their hearts out. Absolutely, and we're going to hear them sing their hearts out for us now. What will you guys be performing? Uh, this is Have Yourself a Merry Little Christmas. All right, All we'll right, do just it. that with this performance. Take, right, it, take away. it away. Have yourself a merry little Christmas. Make the Yuletide gay. From now troubles will be miles away, miles away. Here we are, Here we are as in olden days, happy golden days of yore. All those faithful friends who are dear to us, Gather near to Gather us near once more. Through the years, we all will be together. If the fates allow, hang a shining star upon the highest. Fantastic. Beautiful. The Centennial High School Chamber Singers, again, they had a late night last night with their performance, and yet they're all here with us early this morning, getting us into the Christmas spirit. And they've got more to perform for us this they've morning. They've got still. one more song to perform uh, later this morning, but we're going to take a quick break, and we'll be back with much more coming up after.
When it comes to health coverage, it helps to have someone in your corner. That's why there's Covered California. We're the only place where you can get financial help to pay for your health insurance. New this year, almost a million people could receive additional financial help from the state to help lower the cost of health insurance. More for those already getting it and new help for many who haven't gotten help before. So check to see how much you can save. It only takes five minutes. To be covered by January 1st, enroll by December 15th. Sending Give the gift of scratchers. At Cracker Barrel, we're cooking up warm feelings of home this season with country fried turkey, hand breaded, fried till crispy, and topped with holiday herbed gravy. Our take on a festive favorite is back, and it's only at Cracker Barrel. So come on home for the holidays. Come on home to Cracker Barrel. Oh, heavenly hand cream. Heavenly hand cream? My hands get so dry and cracked, I need serious relief. That's why I use O'Keeffe's Working Hands. It's America's number one selling hand cream for guaranteed relief of dry, cracked hands. Thanks to O'Keeffe's, I got my hands back. This morning on Today, shipping deadlines are here. And today's holiday consumer has what you need to know to get your packages delivered on time. Plus, Cheers. celebrate the season with the Brady's. Let's see what Maureen got. Thanks, you guys. This morning on Today. Holiday Lights at Calm. Kern's 3 million light extravaganza is back for its 17th year. See new displays along with your favorites every night from 5.30 to 8.30 p.m. Purchase tickets at any Kern School's Federal Credit Union branch or at the Holiday Lights gate. Look for the lights in the sky. The buying the presents, the hanging of the lights, the doing all the decorations, the honey-do list is a mile long. And you know, it's, it's so great when December 25th rolls around. And then you got to remember the reason for the season. Merry Christmas. Okay, does that music just make you just I dance? I love yeah. that music. <laughs> We've been having so much fun out here at Holiday Lights at Calm for our annual Sunrise Newscast. So much work goes into this. It is a community show. We bring in so many groups from in the community to come and kind of get us all in the Christmas and holiday spirit. And then all of the work that goes on behind the scenes with our crew from 17 News. Um, we're just so grateful that everyone makes this happen every year because it's just such a fun newscast. It is, and we have a lot of planning. We got to give a shout out to Raquel Vega, yes. who is our associate producer, who has been spending weeks literally planning this show. Uh, and we also have to give a shout out to our uh, behind the scenes crew. We've got Sammy, we've got uh, Baker, we've got Bucky, we've got Jim Trippany, uh, we've got our directors in the studio right now, we've got our producers, so many people, so many people. Uh, that put, help make this possible. And so we do want to thank uh, them for that. And of course, we've got less than two weeks, folks, until Christmas. 12 days. That's 12 what days to be exact. Yeah, that's what the do the math. <laughs> <laughs> and which is another reminder to come on out here to call him because uh, Josh Barnett with Light Tasmic uh, has been literally him and his team has been putting up these lights for months now. Yes. Uh, they've been on for a few weeks and uh, there's a lot to see here and spend a few hours. Four so, months. Four months four to be exactly. Four 17 wow. years too. And, and it's 17 years. years. The big 17 year anniversary. So congratulations, Josh. You did it again. Thank you. Thank this yeah. is so fantastic. So we're so glad that we're able to be out here and uh, showcase this beautiful uh, community display. Absolutely. And we should also mention that there are there's so many events happening around the county uh, over the next couple of days. And we've only got a couple of weekends left until Christmas. So you can go to Two. our website. Two weekends to be exact. <laughs> uh, so you can go to our website, kget.com, yes. and see you know everything that's happening around town uh, to kind of get you in the holiday spirit as we gear up for Christmas. Yeah, we've had a lot of fun seeing it out here live this morning. We hope you have as well. Again, we have the Centennial High Chamber Singers. They're going to sing us out this beautiful Friday morning. So thank you so much for starting your morning with Sunrise. Hope you have a very happy holiday season. Merry Christmas. Make it a great Friday, everyone. Sweet summer bells all seem to say throw kids away. Christmas is here, bringing a cheer to young and old. Dink in the book, ding dong, ding dong, dance the song, ding dong, ding dong, carol it. One seems to hear words of good cheer from everywhere, filling the air. Oh, holy bond, raising the sound, or hail, tail, telling the tunes, gaily they ring while people sing songs of good cheer. Christmas is here, ding dong, 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 ding
Silver bells all seem to say, throw kiss away. Christmas is here, bringing a cheer to you, you know. Drink in the fall, ding dong, ding dong, God is a song. Which of our hymns all caroling? Once did you hear words of a cheer from everywhere, filling the air? Oh, holy bell, raising the sound, oh, hell, a tale, telling the tale. Gaily they ring while people sing songs of a cheer. Christmas is here, many, 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 many,